Hey guys, it's Uber Dude, and today is the day we review Superion. And as you can see, I've got all these guys in the configuration I want them in. I'm going to kind of do this a little bit of an in, in a little bit of a more interesting way. Um, obviously, you can see both Alpha Bravo and Slingshot in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Alpha Bravo on first, and then I'll put on Slingshot just to show kind of a comparison of the difference of the two. But um, for those of you that prefer Alpha Bravo, you know, go for it. I love both of these figures; they're really good. But for me, Slingshot's got to be the, the left arm. So that's how I'm going to display mine. But I'm going to show multiple ways to assemble this guy. If you want to see how, they're all how they all transform and stuff, I'll put links in the description below. I'll take you to the review so you can see exactly just how these guys transform into their limb modes. They are Scramble City, so you can put them as arms, legs, whatever, instead of torso. Silverbolt's the only torso. So if you want to see that again, I'll put the links in the description below and you can check those out. But anyway, coming to these guys, I already got them transformed and ready to go. So what we're going to do first is, um, I'm just going to kind of set him off to the side so we have a little bit of room. You can see these guys, I'm going to have him as the left leg and him as the right leg. So taking Silverbolt here, um, you can see these just slide right into here, just like that. And uh, yeah, really simple, really easy, and he's already getting tall, so I might have to raise my camera. So um. I really should get a new tripod. But anyway, you can see um, a really tall guy. And I'll do a few size comparisons just so you can get an idea of how tall he is. But anyway, taking Alpha Bravo here, just up top, you got the same kind of port. And these things do not fall out. They stay in really, really securely. And again, same thing over here. This one's really, really solid. So yeah, there he is assembled. And... Uh, Trying to zoom out here. Really, really big guy. Just really huge. Holy cow, that guy's big. So, um, there he is with Alpha Bravo. And like I said, he adds a little bit of variety to the table. So, if you like difference and change, then you know what? Alpha Bravo is the guy for you. But if you're an old G1er, then and you're cranky about anything different than G1, then you want to pick this guy up. So, I'm going to take off Alpha Bravo here. Just in case, um, FYI, I'm not a cranky G1-er. I can, I can take some change because I do really like this guy. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I really do think he is um, one of the best that we've had. But I just got to have Slingshot, man. I mean, he is he just got to be there. He, I mean, he's an aerial bot. He's one of the first aerial bots. So he, for me, he's got to be the left arm. So there he is. And... I'm going to change the legs because this is not even how I like to display the legs. So what I like to do, and kind of staying close to the original toy, I'm just going to take the legs off. I'm going to amputate them. <laughs> so what I like to do is just flip this around and use the, this side as the front. Now granted, it can't bend at the knee. And speaking of which, he can bend at the knee. I'll just display that here right now. He can bend at the knee with it attached like that. But I, I'm willing to sacrifice the knee articulation to make it look cool. And plus, I think this looks better for him anyway as a leg for Air Raid. So, what you want to do to fit these on here, you have to untab these because they don't fully tab in when you combine um, them to the torso. So, it slides the exact same way. And then what I like to do with the fist is just kind of put them down and kind of put the nose cones over them. Just like that. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'll try to get it more in shot with Air Raid. So, um, again, just sliding it on here and there we go. And then just folding the fist down just like that. And just kind of folding the nose cone to kind of hide those fists. I just think that looks so much better. This is exactly how I'm going to display my Superion. So anyway, there he is. Very, very cool figure. Um, Articulation-wise, I already showed you the knee joint. Um, really strong ratchets here. In and out. He's got kind of a double knee thing going, so that's kind of weird. Um, it does rotate here, and it does rotate here, I believe. Maybe if you move the fist. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Um, those are That's the articulation of his legs. He can obviously move in and out for his arms. Back, forth, this, that, and the other. And then he kind of bends at the um, elbow. And then you can rotate this. And his fingers kind of wiggle. And his thumb can move up and down. Um, rotating the head. You can do that with him. 
And so that's about the articulation. One thing that kind of bugs me are the ears. They're really flippity floppity. No matter what you do, they won't stay straight. I don't know why I can see they slant back. But I've heard that with a lot of people that no matter what you can, no matter what you do, they just don't want to come all the way forward. And I think there is like a third party company or there's custom something or other on eBay that you can um, get to replace these ears. But um, anyway, there's Superion, and I have to say, I, I just love the way that Hasbro incorporated all these guys to combine into a really awesome figure. I've heard com people complain that, oh, he's got skinny thighs, he's he's got a skinny lower torso. Uh, I can't complain, man. I mean, I think this guy is the bomb. For cheap combiners that Hasbro's made, I mean, this thing is miles ahead of that false Cybertron Bruticus figure, and I actually like that thing. But this, this just blows it away. I mean, you can, you can take Menasaur's limbs, and not that I'd ever do this, but you can. You can take Menasaur's limbs, and you can replace them with these guys. And the whole term Scramble City is really, really, really written all over this whole thing, and all the Combiner Wars figures. Except for maybe Devastator. I don't think he's going to be Scramble City, just because it'd be really hard to do that. But anyway, back to Superion, just great way of homaging this superior to the original figure and it, it's just really it's just an update of the original one i mean the original one could scramble city too so this is really just an update and not as much parts forming with him i mean the chest piece i don't think there was any parts forming on him either but usually the combiners have parts forming i just love the way that they incorporated everything into this so um he does come with silver bolts gun and there's just a hole on uh on the fist right there and you can just plug this right onto there and uh people have also complained that the gun is way too long for silver bolt maybe but i, I think that's a, a good length and just because i know people will want to see this here's power glide and his landing gear kind of dubs as the stub or the post that you can plug in um this is kind of hard because his nose cone gets in the way but yeah he's kind of heavy so he can't even hold him up so I will never do that. But just in case, if you want to see, that does work. So setting Power Glide off to the side. We'll actually set him off to the side just that much. And for a comparison, here he is with Armada Starscream. And as you can see, he has really good height um, compared to deluxe figures. Just, I don't know, this guy just really amazes me of how cool he looks. So taking him off. Here he is with a Voyager figure, and um, it kind of works. Um, yeah, he doesn't look so big next to Springer here. So taking Springer off, I'm sure someone will want to see this comparison. So here he is. Here's Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Yeah, that does not work at all. This is not to scale with Masterpiece whatsoever. But just in case if you wanted to see, there he is. So taking off Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And I I wanted to do this, but, you know, I'm just way too lazy, so I'm just going to have to settle for less. Here he is next to one of my LEGO Stunicons, specifically Wild Rider. As you can see, I kind of revamped him. His legs are different, but, I, I yeah, my revamp definitely works a lot better. But anyway, yeah, he's deluxe size, as I said. Um, if you want to see a comparison of my LEGO um, Menasaur to um, this Superion, then... I'm thinking about doing a collection review video, so maybe I can like post a picture in there or something like that. So you will see it, don't worry. Um, just not right now, because I'm way too lazy, and it's really late. And I gotta finish this review. So um, anyway, about Superion, I, I can't complain. This guy is so amazing. Um, I know that there was that third-party Uranus figure. Um, I wasn't really a huge fan of that to begin with anyway, but it... it I don't know. This thing, if you're cheap like me and you can't usually afford way super expensive third party figures, then that, guess what? This is for you. But if you want a larger, because I think he's like two inches tall or something like that, if you want a taller, more imposing Uranus figure, then yeah, I would get that. But um, I don't know. This is definitely an option. I really think that um, this is worth getting the whole entire set, even with Quick Slinger here. Or AKA Slingshot. Nothing against Alpha Bravo again. It's just I'll probably be selling him somewhere along the way. But I gotta have Slingshot. So I'm sorry for all you people that are not um, hardcore G winners. I'm not a hardcore G winner, but you know what? Slingshot's just the bomb for me. So 
You're probably sick of hearing me rambling and rambling, so I'll wrap up this review. So, um, this is the Combiner Wars Superion. If you want to get him on Big Bad Toy Store, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, also, I do, I really like if you would subscribe, comment, check out our Facebook page, and also check out some of the other reviews. And if you missed any of the reviews of the singular figures, like I said previously, I'll put them in the link in the description below. But, um... After that, I don't think there's so um that much else to say. So again, this is Fubridooge. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Keep playing, guys.